from the home screen, we're going to go ahead and click create a task. Uh, we'll go ahead and give this test a name, new website load test. From here, we can also give a description, initial performance. We'll be navigating from the top here in the general down all the way to the SLA. That's the flow of creating a new performance test. And before we go to the next slide, we can also pick our run mode. We have duration, iterations, and goal-oriented. Today, we'll be doing a duration-based run mode. What that means is that the load test will run for a certain amount of time before finishing. Iteration will be uh, how many times would you run through that script. And goal-oriented is a way to try to hit a certain threshold and then keeping that threshold for a duration of time. So for example, if you wanted to sustain a thousand hits per second for 30 minutes, you can set it up as a goal-oriented load test. All right, so going forward from general to scripts, this is where we'll be picking the scripts that we want to use. Uh, I've already uploaded scripts. If you haven't, then you would just go ahead and click the upload button or drag and drop the scripts here. Uh, so this uh, load runner cloud has uh, a repository for all previously uploaded scripts that which you can manage and delete as necessary or update all of our scripts are going to be in under the label aos administration this makes it very easy for us to find out what we need to do or where the, where the scripts are so we'll go ahead and add those scripts here both of them have been added uh, for us now to change the script to have a certain amount of users, for example, for our load test, we can just go ahead and put it here as 100 users of each. And as you can see in this graph here, when we change these settings, we'll see how long that this uh, load test is going to run for. So we'll set up a ramp up for it to run and hit those 100 users over a five minute uh, time span. And from there, it's going to run for 10 minutes. And lastly, it will slowly ramp down for another five minutes. So in this situation here, it's gonna run for a total of 20 minutes. We'll do the exact same for this one as well. If necessary, you can always change these settings to not have a simple scheduling, but you can have a more advanced scheduling, which would have multiple ramp ups and tear downs. Uh, once that's completed, we can go over to monitors monitors are a way to bring in sort server side metrics into our program and these can be pulled from site scope new relic dynatrace or app dynamics so to add that we just add it from assets and pick something that is currently aligned so for one example we have the uh, this ip address here which is monitoring our online server We'll go down to distribution. Uh, distribution is where we would be setting up where our load generators should uh, create their load from. Uh, by default, it's going to have Virginia as an AWS region. We can edit these locations and add multiple locations to our load tests. For example, Canada Central, California, Oregon, as well as Azure-based load generators uh, as necessary. Once this is completed, we'll just go ahead and distribute that load. As long as the load uh, totals 100%, the load will, the, the load test will run. So we'll just go ahead and do that. That is now at 100%. The networking relations here are a way for us to find a more real world network conditions for our script. So what that means is that uh, some we can add uh, packet loss, uh, latency, and download upload bandwidth restrictions on our um, load test. So that would actually slow the loads load down to emulate a real world uh, user experience if they were on a typical WAN internet connection versus a mobile typical internet connection. And the way to do that is again, just like the distribution, where we just want to put uh, some load as a percentage across the different uh, locations. As long as this totals, um, actually this doesn't need to total 
anything. It, it will just be un uh, trafficked or un. Uh, uh, it would just be clear, clear uh, from the AWS region. Uh, once this is completed, we'll just go over to SLA. SLA is where we'll be adding our service level agreements for the script based on the transactions that are already in our script. So transactions are just a start and stopwatch uh, in the script to see how long certain um, items are running for. We will then tie it to an SLA to say, hey, uh, we want this to run for you know, six seconds. And if it takes any longer than that, we will go ahead and fail that transaction. And for add to cart, it would be a seven seconds to get through the whole perspective. This isn't just for loading the website. This is going through that whole business process of shopping that speaker or adding to the cart. Uh, once this is completed, we can go ahead and uh, start our load test. All we need to do then is click start run, uh, run test. And over the next uh, few minutes, it will uh, spin up those load generators automatically for you in the regions that we've selected. Uh, 